Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to bring you the new character that is coming to a game, Al Haytham. We're gonna be discussing a bit how I see him and let's do a bit of a pre-analysis video about him. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the normal attacks. The normal attacks, you do only four, five rapid strikes. D rushes forward, does the dendro damage and has two ways of doing it. You have the hold animation and the tap animation where you cast it. So the aim aim mode you can uh, just adjust where Al Haytham is gonna rush forward, and if not, you're gonna just tap it and go the rush forward instantly. So the good thing here is that you have mirrors. So how do you generate mirrors? Because this does more damage with the more mirrors you have. But how do we generate mirrors? You will ask. So there's a lot of tests here. Okay. Telling you how to generate mirrors, but generating mirrors is really easy. On D, you only can generate mirrors doing one thing that is, if you have zero mirrors at the start and you press E, you're gonna generate two mirrors, and if you have one or more, you're gonna be generating one more mirror. At maximum of three mirrors, it's important, and as more mirrors we have, more damage that we deal. Easy. The ultimate, what does is it creates a uh, a field where it does a lot of damage and it depends on the mirrors that you have if you have zero one two three mirrors were consumed al haytham will generate three two one zero on the neutral if you have zero mirrors the ultimate will generate three mirrors if you have three mirrors ultimate will generate zero mirrors for more mirrors more instances of attack if more instances of attack more damage okay passive so for passive talents the essential one talent is that uh, doing a charge attack or plunge check attack will generate one mirror. So, for example, the combo that we will want to start is E and charge attack, and we will have three mirrors. So, we can go to the ultimate and do tons of damage. The second extension talent is that for each point of elemental mastery that a Haythan has, the mirrors will deal a 0.1% more damage, which is kind of insane if you think that we're gonna be building a bit of elemental mastery on a Haythan and the maximum is 100% and if you have ascension talents you can receive 10% 10% of chance of generating one more constellations as always i won't be going about constellations so i don't bother talking about them if you want to pull for them you can do it c1 it's it's decent c6 is strong it's really strong but the other constellations are okay -ish. i mean the c2 is quite good because it increases more mental mastery so yeah but you don't need to go for constellations. Okay, so let's start with the swords that I recommend you to build on him and which one you should put. First of all, his signature weapon, I don't have it here because the patch isn't yet put it on the main server. So the main weapon that he has is the best weapon in slot for him, it's really good. The other five star options are all kind of good, okay? Primary Cutter is one of the best, Misplitter Reforge is one of the best, Freedom Sword is one of the best. These three are the best on terms of damage, I don't have neither of them, so I won't be putting on them none of the 5 stars. K is really good, to be honest. This is decent, Sumi Shaper is a bait, don't play Sumi Shaper. Skyward Blade is mm, kinda of bad, to be honest, and Takila Fawon is bad too, because you don't want to normal attack with him a lot, you only want to do some church attacks and do... Uh, normal attacks but we will be infused with um, Dendro so we won't be hitting it For 4 star options The best 2 options that you go for 4 stars is Chaifos and the Togaru Shiguri This, the fucking umbrella is fucking amazing It's one of the best weapons on him, based it on Calx Chaifos is super good on him actually with These 2 are the best 4 star options that you have in game In my opinion and the other four star option that is really good on him is Iron Stink. The other weapons are kind of meh. You can play them. You can play Subfoot. You can play Amenoma. You can play Alay Flash. You can play Fabonius. Lion Roar, I don't think it's really good. Even though if you play it on a team about Aggravate, I don't think it's really good having this. So I don't highly recommend. Fabonius is good if you need energy recharge. I think you will need some energy recharge at least. 150, 140 at least to get the ultimate back on every rotation. So that's quite important to keep in mind. That's why Shafos is super good. But I will stick for this one. I want to build this weapon because it's really good on him. So I will be playing this weapon. 
and when we go to the artifact section of the video probably um, on myself I will be playing energy recharge sans instead of uh, elemental mastery sans you can play uh, well later we talk about that <laughs> how we going to the down it's really important okay that this weapon it's almost at the same level at r5 that the five star options in terms of damage the bad thing here is that you have to maintain the passive and you know this weapon if you maintain the passive is broken but if you can't maintain the passive it's not that really good so you will be losing a lot of damage if you can't maintain the passive if you are a true gamer and want to do a lot of damage play this if not stick to with some of these two or i don't think that is free on the on the forge so i will stick to that personally let's get to the artifact section okay so for artifacts my main concern here is that if you play him as solo dendro uh, the four pieces devil can be good but playing him as solo dendro is not that great we will be talking about that later on the video about the team compositions that you can build and everything so the four pieces devil i don't highly recommend it i highly recommend going four pieces glided dreams this is the best set of him personally i think that you will get a lot of damage from elemental mastery and having a lot of elemental mastery helps you a lot so i highly recommend going for four pieces glided dreams if you don't want to go four pieces glided dreams you can do two pieces elemental mastery which can be two pieces glided dreams or two pieces wanderers plus two pieces emblem or maybe two pieces deep wood where you can get some dendro damage bonus but i highly recommend going first for for glided or if you don't want to go for glided go two deep wood and oh sorry not two deep wood uh two emblem severed fate and two glided or two wanderers because if you have been playing a lot on the game you probably have good pieces of of wanderers so this combination for me are the best when we talk about substats that we want to search on on Al Haytham, we want crit ray, crit damage, elemental mastery, and energy recharge. Elemental mastery is quite important on substats. Attacks percent and attacks planes are decent but not highly recommended. As always, energy recharge, elemental mastery, crit ray, crit damage, something like this. This is so bad, but you can get a concern of how I think it should be. And for the sands, okay. Sans, it has some discussion. You can go or ER Sans, Energy Recharge Sans, or you can go Elemental Mastery Sans. Personally, Elemental Mastery Sans do a lot of damage. You will be buffing your personal damage a lot, your reaction damage a lot. So, probably Elemental Mastery in terms of damage is the best. But if you want to maintain the ultimate, which you will probably want in when you do combos with him, um, you want to get a lot of energy research about 150 like I told you on the weapon section of the video so I highly recommend going for uh, energy recharge sands in case you don't want more damage or you don't need it or you don't have chifos if you have chifos you can go elemental mastery and fuck off so that's the main concern here the second thing is for the lamp of the lost we want to go for the <laughs> <laughs> not the lamp of the lost i'm so bad at this for the goblet we want to go for an oops i don't have one i think <laughs> i don't have one build yet but we want to go for a dendro damage bonus okay do we want dendro damage bonus here is the best thing that you can go for it to be honest something like i don't know something like this but with good substance because as you can see i don't have really good substance i'll probably play this or this one this one is really good oh uh, yeah something like this because this gives me elemental mastery and crit rate so this is probably a really good option of um dendro damage bonus secret uh goblet sorry so that's the main concern you can play elemental mastery here too yes but it's not that great i personally prefer dendro damage bonus if you can and for secret for secret you want a standard crit rate crit damage with energy recharge or elemental mastery but you want crit rate or crit damage here just to balance your substats and keep in mind that yeah, that's what you want for the circlet let's head to the team section of the video okay so first team that i want to recommend is well we'll be imagining that Tignari is 
Alhaytham, I probably did something here that he is Alhaytham. So this is one of the best teams that you can have on him. Nahida, Chinkyu, Raiden Shogun, Raiden Shogun full elemental mastery, and you have a really good double dendro, double dendro hyper bloom, quick bloom, sorry. That is really, really good, to be honest. I, I really like this team. You can also change, if you don't have Nahida, you can also change it for the Dendro DMC or even Kolei. Personally, I prefer Dendro DMC than Kolei and Nahida over Dendro DMC. So this is the first team that will be played. The next teams that we can play, we can play a double Hydro Hyper Bloom team that you cut Nahida and you put something like Jelan and you play this. This is really, really good, actually. I think this is, well, with Nahida, this is one of the best teams for her. So this team on, on Alhaitham will be really good too. Also, one of the things that you can play on him is like something like this. You can play Fischl and Beidou. And you have a really good double electro quick loop team. You can also go for quick and reaction only. So you got Chinkyu and you put uh, another healer or maybe Nahida, for example. Burgeon teams are okay too. Who you can play with Toma. Highly recommend. I'm level lang Mary Toma for this. But something like this, for example. Jinkyu here. And probably you can play Orficial or another Dendro or another Hydro, for example. So you can have this like this. It's really good. Actually, Burgeon 2 is okay. I prefer personally the double Dendro, double Hydro, or double Electro that I mentioned it before. And finally, the Bountiful Bloom, that is uh, our beloved Alhaitan here. You can play Nahida here, for example, and you can play something like Chinkyu plus, whoops, plus Nilo. So here we go with Bountiful team. It's really good, this team. You can, you kind of have to not die, so probably even though I like a lot Chinkyu, you can put or Nahida for Kokomi or Barbara or Chinkyu for Kokomi or Barbara both options are really good so I highly recommend this team too but the main thing that I highly recommend is the first team I showed you Double Dendro with Nahida, Alhaitham, Chinkyu and here the Raiden Shogun or Cookie Shinobu well, Full Elemental Mastery remember that Cookie is actually a good choice too so yeah that's our the team section of the video and that's everything for this video guys hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe and thank you for watching see you on the next video bye bye